Hi, this is July 009. Today I'm going to do some more puppy painting. And um, yeah, right now I'm doing it right now. Um, sometimes um, the puppy paint could be very thin. It's watery because it is water based. You can remove it with acetone if you somehow made a mistake, but you have to do it right away. When it dries, it's hard to remove. So now I'm doing the first layer. Usually I do two layers because the first layer will sink into the fabric because earlier I, earlier I said it's kind of watery. So look at the other areas. Those areas are probably painted twice. And see this area? Some areas already dry off and sink into the fabric. So yeah, so right now I'm doing the the hip part. See, it's pretty easy. You just need steady hands, you know. It's not hard, see. I rest my hand somewhere and I just move my finger. You know, you should have to rest your palm on, or your See, like right now, I use my pinky, you know, I rest my pinky and just gently squeeze a little bit, a little bit, like this. And after the first layer dries, and then you apply a second layer. So... It's pretty simple and straightforward. Just right now, I'm probably painting like a sewn out suit. Uh, a sewn out suit is harder to half paint because it's already done. It's easier to do it on a print when it's not finished. So right now I stuff a pillow inside a Spider-Man suit, so it's easier to puff paint. So the fabric doesn't move around, but still, it's it's still a pain in the ass to do that. So that's it, you know, like this. Just like this. Okay. And wait for it to dry and then move on to the second layer. Just like this part. I already finished two layers. See? It looks more 3D. Right? Alright. Anyways. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day. Bye.